Hello, this is Dr. Tyler Hamill, Kingwood chiropractor and nutritionist, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about men's health. We have a new section on the website to do with men's health, just things that guys are dealing with, um, health issues or health problems that we are seeing today probably in males that are uh, age 30 and above. We used to see that more in males age, say, 55 or 60 and above, but now it's happening a little bit more. So today we're going to talk about cortisol. So cortisol is a hormone that is produced by the adrenal gland. So we hear sometimes about people or guys having adrenal fatigue or adrenal burnout. And cortisol is the main uh, hormone that's affected in that entire process. So cortisol is made in the adrenal glands, but cortisol needs cholesterol to, uh, to be made in the first place. So the adrenals take cholesterol and help make cortisol, with, which is the, the hormone. Um, so today we see lots of uh, uh, media news and, and um, doctors' research and whatnot about uh, high cholesterol or too much cholesterol, or we should be eating low fat, no fat, no cholesterol. And um, this just goes to show how that can create a hormone imbalance. So not only do you need uh, cortisol to make, or do you need uh, cholesterol to make cortisol, you also need it to make testosterone. So we see more and more guys today with uh, energy issues and libido issues or low T, you can call that, and um, lots of times it's because two things, so one, maybe they're not eating enough good fat and cholesterol. Number two, they are taking uh, cholesterol-lowering medicine. So think of the combination of those two things, not eat, eating enough fat or cholesterol, so that's going to affect it, and then taking a medicine that's even going to drive your cholesterol numbers down even lower, and cortisol and testosterone, they need cholesterol to be made in the first place. So let's look at when cortisol levels are off or say in, in, imbalanced or, or uh, out of the norm, the typical things that you can see in patients. So belly fat, for guys this is very common that uh, guys will gain weight and you really just see it more so in the belly. Right? Cortisol always means belly fat. So too much cortisol, right? It's going to cause uh, hormone issues, it's going to cause blood sugar issues and that's going to cause belly fat. Number two, we have chronic fatigue. So Lots of times when we talk about adrenal burnout, um, adrenals are just worn out and that has a lot to do with energy, so chronic fatigue, we're going to see that. A lot of guys are just uh, struggling to get through the day or they get home, lay on the couch and, it's, and they're done for the night. They just don't have any energy. Number three, digestive issues. So this could be gas, bloating, elimination issues, things like that. There's a lot of other things that could cause that, but adrenals too, you always have to think about uh, cortisol and how might that be affecting things. Uh, and then we have number four, which is insomnia, or just hard to sleep. So some people, some guys have trouble falling asleep, some staying asleep, some both. You know you have some cortisol issues when if you're waking up at the same time every single morning, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., something like that. That's commonly a cortisol issue. Ideally, the cortisol should be uh, lower when you go to bed because your body's relaxing, getting ready for sleep. And when you get up in the morning, your cortisol level should be high because it's time to go, you're ready to go, blood pressure's getting ready to go, uh, energy, things like that. And you can do a saliva test to test your uh, cortisol, which they will uh, look at the morning levels, they look at the afternoon or night levels as well, just to see where you're at. Okay, uh, inflammation. So cortisol, having too much cortisol can cause extra inflammation in the body. So that's what most guys would think of, just extra aches and pains or back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain but also just extra inflammation in general. So that could affect things like your thyroid gland, it could affect things like your digestion, uh, circulation, different things like that too. Inflammation, it's caused by a, a number of different things, but if the adrenals are unhappy, cortisol's out of balance, you're gonna see more of that. And then we have electrolytes. So this is kind of in a roundabout way. Uh, the adre adrenals and cortisol and another hormone called pregnenolone, they have an effect on electrolytes. So sometimes, especially in Houston, if you guys are out there working outside or, or tennis running and um, you're just consuming you know, salt and electrolytes or try to prevent from cramping but it isn't working, then there might be something um, uh, not working properly as far as adrenals, cortisol, and pregnenolone. So that's another thing that you don't hear of too often. But if you are uh, consistently struggling with cramps, especially say foot cramps or calf cramps at night, and no matter what you're doing, potassium, minerals, electrolytes, and it's not working, then that might have something to do with it. Okay, so we basically covered everything to do with uh, cortisol today. You can get a lot more uh, detailed or complex with that, but I think a lot of guys out there, you hear about cortisol, you hear about adrenal fatigue, but you really just don't know 
uh, that much about it. So I'm here just to provide extra information, give you guys some good uh, education on what it is and, and really how it's affecting the body. Uh, we'll do another video at some time um, just in regards to like how we can help the adrenals be healthier naturally. So when it comes to diet, exercise, sleep, different things like that, it's, it's really, really important. So if you're a guy out there and you're struggling with these kind of symptoms here, the belly fat, the chronic fatigue, digestive issues, and so on and so forth. So, and again, for guys too, uh, erectile dysfunction or libido issues, that's another common thing. Like I had mentioned, if you don't have enough cholesterol, then you're probably not making enough or, uh, cortisol or testosterone. So, and that shows up as low T and, and chronic fatigue. Again, Dr. Tyler Hamill, stay tuned. There'll be more videos and more content and information coming out in the men's health section of this website. Um, if you need to get in touch with us, we're in Kingwood, phone number 281-360-8387.